editing is not hard once you keep learning and staying very consistent i'm going to be showing you some real cool techniques that you can learn to boost your editing skills like this on capcom so if you're interested let's dive right into today's tutorial subscribe to my channel So to start this you're going to come here and add an overlay and you're going to come here to select any picture you want to use to stock so i'm going to be selecting this one and i'm going to be adding it right here okay so at this point i'm going to adjust the picture and at this point i'm going to also come here and add a keyframe somewhere here all right and so at the beginning of the picture i'm also going to add another keyframe but this time around i'm going to be taking the picture outside of this area so it's gonna look like something comes in like this you see that all right and i'm also going to add a graph to this all right so you come here and select the graph and you can select the easy is into all right and after that you come here and duplicate this all right you come and duplicate it and take it down here again this is the second one and you come and look for another point here and adjust it all right but this time around at this second frame here you come here and adjust this outside and pull it out so it looks more like a stock like this you see that and again you can duplicate again the second one you add it the way you added the other ones all right so you take it back and at this keyframe here you take it back like this are you seeing that all right again you go ahead to duplicate the next one all right and after that you're going to come here to make changes to the individual pictures you come here and replace and you come here and select the picture you come again replace and put the right picture there all right again you come and replace this so you can see how it's going to look like you see that you see that so it makes more sense to create a highlighting text animation you come to pixel lab and you create a box a tiny box like this and you use a color which is the yellow color for the highlighting text and you're going to place it on a transparent background and you will save this all right once you've saved it you come over to CapCut and you select the picture of the text that you want to highlight so i'm going to be going with this one right here Once that is done, you're going to be coming here to your overlay and you're going to be selecting the box that you created using Pixel Lab. Alright, and you'll be adding it here. So you'll be adding it over the text that you want it to highlight. And then you click on splice or blend right here. And then you select darken. so you also have to make sure that there is a voice over because of course someone has to be saying something and then the highlighting comes over the text all right so once that is done you select the you know the highlighting um, box and then you come here to mask and you select horizontal then you're going to turn the horizontal angle to minus 90 degree like this all right so you have to be very very careful so basically you literally need to be listening to the voice notes while you're doing this so that you will know where it stops and there you're going to add a keyframe all right so where it stops you're going to come here to add a keyframe to it and then you're going to move the um, mask towards it all right so that is where it stops so at the beginning right here we're going to also come here to add another keyframe so you have to listen to where the voice started reading all right and then you add a keyframe and then you move the mask behind it to create a paper fold animation you're going to open a new project and you select the green screen picture and you place it right here then you come here to overlay you add the paper the youtube and the fold video effect so make sure you add them in that order so you come here to your paper fold effect and you go to chroma key and in chroma key you're going to increase the intensity pick out the red color and increase the intensity so that it removes the red color then you select your youtube logo and once you select the youtube logo you would come here to where you have the splice effects and you click on the slide 
right and here you click on adjust color you remove increase the brightness you know add some saturation to it and you can see how it looks like right now so once that is done you come here to you know adjust the paper to fit into the fold effects like this all right you do that gently and once that is done you can see how it looks like so you after that you select the you know the paper and you come to adjust the color of the paper you reduce the brightness a little bit and you can see the effect is giving then this is how it's going to look like so we're going to be creating the magnifying glass effect so we're going to come here to overlay and we're going to be selecting the picture that we want to use for this all right so here this is the picture i want to use and we're also going to be adding the magnifying glass here as an overlay too so here is the magnifying glass and here at the beginning i'm going to be taking it outside and i'll add a keyframe all right a keyframe because it's going to be coming in from the outside so so at this point i'm going to add a keyframe again to this magnifying glass and pull it in but then i'm not going to pull in it with my hand i'm going to come here to use a basic tool which is here on cap cuts and i'll use the x axis and the y axis to adjust the movement of the magnifying glass just like this and at the same point where i added a keyframe i'm also going to come here to add a keyframe to this one all right and there i will go to the masking tool right here select the masking tool select the circle and i will adjust the circle to fit into the magnifying glass just like this so i'm going to be repeating the process again i'll come here again add a keyframe right here um at the magnifying glass adjust it using the basic tool i'm going to be using the x axis this time around to adjust the movement at the same point where i added a keyframe here i'll come here again to add a keyframe this time around i will go again to the mask tool and adjust the circle inside the magnifying glass so i'm going to repeat the process over and over so you guys will understand i'll move a little bit again come here add a keyframe go to the basic tool here adjust the x-axis a little more the same point where i added the keyframe i'll go again to the mask tool right here add a circle and make it to fit into the you know the magnifying glass so i'm going to repeat this process because sometimes it might really be hard to get We're going to be creating another paper fold effect and here on pixel lab we're going to be using the youtube thumbnail size and here we're going to be choosing a color which is the green screen color right here then you're going to be importing the hand right here and make sure that it fits right into the page and then you come and pick a color right here we're going to be using the white color after that you hit the save all right and after saving you can go ahead to delete this and you're going to be changing this to a transparent background and after that you will come here to where you have this and you come here to expand it then you go over to where you have the erase color and you click on it and then it erases the white color then you go ahead to save again and after saving you go back to your cap cut so here on cap cut i'm going to be adding overlays of some photos here i'm going to start with the hand i'm going to be adding the hand right here and I'm going to also add an overlay of the you know video of the paper fold effects right here. I'm going to be adding that as an overlay too. And lastly, I'm going to be adding an overlay of the green screen effect of the hand that I edited using the Pixel Lab. So once you have added it, then you come here to Chroma Key, select the you know paper fold effect video, go to Chroma Key, select the red effect, and increase the intensity. So you can see right here that once you do that another effect comes up you see that you see that so this is exactly what you can do with this